This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Last year I never made a video on the Frogman because I was fairly certain it was fake, but now he is starting up the whole process of building a frog army again. So let's investigate. That's it, that's my intro. Hey, I'm Amanda, you're watching Swell Entertainment. And today we are talking about Thin Frog and his frog army. Last year was apparently the first year he tried to do this, and this year he is once again back at it. Like I said in the intro, I was fairly certain this was fake last year, just because there were just certain things where I was like, that doesn't seem correct. And then there was also the fact that at least one of the footage clips we know for a fact he did steal from a YouTube channel. So this year, once it was started up again, everyone was like, oh my God, it's starting again. This is like, Ecological terrorism. It's a little early for me to start throwing out the T word. Not that T word, you get what I, oh yes, we are wearing my circle glasses today because we are doing a uh, deep dive, scholarly deep dive. I think this might be the fit for my stupid little deep dive videos in the future, just because I look like I am in the background of like, a drawing of a library. And I'm not the focal point, but I'm someone that you draw in the background to take up space. But really quick, let me tell you about the sponsor for today's video, Squarespace. That's right, Squarespace is back as a sponsor, the powerful and beautiful online platform that runs our very own official channel website, swellentertainment.com. Squarespace has tons of incredible tools to help you build any website you could possibly need. Further create your community, use powerful blogging tools, upgrade your e-commerce site to help manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, and help ship items across the globe. Even if you just want to have a spot for all of your social media posts all in one spot, you can do that on Squarespace. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash swellentertainment to get 10% off your first order of a domain or a website. Again, that's squarespace.com slash swellentertainment and thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We are talking about Thin Frog. Two main important things that I think are important here. One, we have never seen Thin Frog's face and two, Thin Frog has never actually shown us his real voice, as far as I can tell from his account. He might have a burner account, might have a backup account. This account did go dormant for at least five plus months, it looks like, uh, between the last update from his Frog Army to the start of this year's Frog Army. So the likelihood of him having another account is probably higher than zero. We do see his hands quite a bit, and uh, based on what we see, we know this is probably a white guy. And this is where it got me for a lot of this, because some of the things that I caught throughout his different videos and things like that, and also the hands themselves, I'm thinking this guy is early 20s, maybe a teenager for a couple of different reasons because he's really into the mud and the dirt, but based on what we see of his hands, they're pretty, manicured is not the word. I'm sure you all know someone who works with their hands quite a bit or gardens quite a bit. Like their hands look it. Like I have more calluses than this guy, you know? And I'm just, I have a dog who's crazy, you know, and I've worked in the service industry. There's a certain lack of wear and tear to his hands that make me think that this guy is younger than maybe some people may think he is. Especially just the concept of a frog army is something very juvenile. And I know that TikTok now is like, this is the closest to a supervillain we're ever gonna get. I mean, Elon Musk is right there and he is a grown man, but I kind of get what you're saying. It's like a cartoon supervillain is what we're getting with Thin Frog. And that's where, again, it makes me think that this might be a teenager. Oh, also before anyone gives me a hard time, this is probably not the same type of frog. If this is, it looks like a frog. I think that's a frog. I don't think it's a toad. It might be a toad. I don't know. I'm a YouTuber with an associate's degree in English and one in liberal arts. You think I know the difference between a frog and a toad when I just Google frog and then click the first image that I like? This could be a toad, this could be a frog. Feel free to comment down below though and tell me how upset you are that I misguessed the species of the toad, that or the frog, whatever that is. That's fine, I'd love that, thank you. Like I said originally, there are several reasons of why I had questions about frog spawn and the frog army last year. Several things didn't make sense and weren't lining up to me, but basically Thin Frog's whole thing is that he likes to go out, find uh, drying up puddles or water sources that are just kind of like disrepair water sources where frogs like to lay eggs because they're shallow, they're not gonna float away, that type of thing. They can anchor better and collect them if he thinks that it's polluted, drying up, what have you. And he was like, I'm gonna rescue all these frog eggs 
and I'm going to put them in my pond and make a frog army. He had this uh, like a plastic pool pond that's like two layers that he got from a garden supply store, then circled it out the water, put in plants, and then put in all these frog spawn, and then was like, I'm gonna build a frog army. Kind of jokingly, it seems. And then people were like, that's not enough frogs for a frog army because he was just kind of doing the math of how many eggs are in a clutch when a frog lays an egg. And I did learn some a few things. There was um, a bunch of videos that he did about the difference between between toad eggs versus frog eggs. Apparently frog eggs are in like clumps of, and balls and can in fact fall off. Whereas toad eggs come out in like streams, like almost like streamers of eggs. I did not know that. They're like stringy, weird. We just kind of keep collecting eggs for a while. And what I thought was super weird too, is that a lot of, though he got them seemingly all at different times, they were all in the same stage when he first got them, but then they also kind of hatched in a fairly consistent time frame altogether, which did not make a lot of sense to me. I get if they were all actually laid at the same time, but it doesn't seem like they were considering where he's going to get the eggs. The frogs don't seem to be there where they had left them. I don't know, just certain little things where I'm like, mm, I'm not a frog person, but this seems fishy. Last year he went back to one water source quite a bit and it was one he said, look, this one's polluted. You can see the, the film on the top where there's been an oil spill or something like rainbow colors on the top of the water. It's like, so I'm gonna rescue these eggs and add them to the frog army. And he did that quite a bit. However, when he would be grabbing the eggs and then also putting them back into the water, I'm assuming he's not hosing down the eggs when they're in the bucket that he's using to con to transport them or what have you. The fact that he was able to transport all of these eggs seemingly from all these different water sources. And a lot of them came from this one allegedly polluted water source. Then wouldn't some of that oil residue transport transport with the eggs into your fresh pond water source. Why is there no transfer of oil? And throughout the footage that he would show us, I would not see anything that would indicate that there was any oil or gas or whatever it was, any rainbow film whatsoever that would make it into the water source. That, and then, like I said, tadpoles kind of grew at different times. What's the life cycle? The larval stage, the tadpole lasts two to three months after egg hatching and before transforming into a frog. The tadpoles feed on small organisms suspended in the water, such as algae, diatoms, and bacteria, and organic and non-organic detritus. So about two to three months to become a tadpole to a little frog. That's understandable. How long does it take eggs to hatch? Eggs generally hatch in two to three weeks, but the time varies based on water temperature, one dead egg is visible in this picture, the opaque white circle, whereas the other embryos are very developed and are close to hatching. Yeah, then at least the first time around, I think the eggs took too long to hatch based on what we saw. It's hard to tell now because also the thing about TikTok is though there's usually a timestamp, it's not always super easy to tell at the time. And obviously I'm not super familiar with the frog life cycle, so I don't know for certain how much I can gauge that on my own with just like, my own eyesight. The timeline now actually seems a little more accurate to like how it was before, but that's just me. With what he showed us about his frog pond from last year, it's very small, very small. Then when he shows us quite a few of the footage, there are shots and angles where he is showing us quite a bit of tadpoles, especially at the tadpole stage when they were swimming around and transforming and what have you. His footage where the camera pans and where he zooms in, he shows us so much that we should be able to see the edge of the plastic tub and we don't. Sometimes we do, but not always. And then there are also times where he claims to have cleaned out, like emptied out all the tadpoles, put them in two tanks so that he could change out the water because they were pooping everywhere. And then he puts them back in. However, I feel like something that would have been super easy is to show us the tadpoles in the tanks and he never does. Day 62. Today is cleaning day. The pond water is very dirty because one point per million tadpoles have been shitting everywhere. First, I got all the tadpoles out what took nearly three hours. So I think that's a little weird. And then we have the rocks. The version this year has rocks along the side of it, if we're believing what he's saying. This year he's saying that the, the pond from last year, the plastic one, had a hole in it, so we got rid of it. And instead he used a liner and like dug a hole and put rocks around the side of it and filled that with water and is doing a filtration system and all this stuff and put the tadpoles in like a small part of that liner pool that he has made. Now there's like big slabs, rocks on that one, but the rest of it as a liner. That looks correct. However, for last year, there were quite a few TikToks where he uploaded. So here you can see, I'll put the video clip on the screen. He's showing the entirety of the pool with just one pan of the phone. This is from last year. This is a very small space, it's plastic. He does have a rock set up on the one side, but most of this, there's not 
rocks. Yeah, there's like one little clump on the side of rocks, that's it. See, this footage doesn't look right. That footage is filler footage. Oh, here's another video that probably indicates that this is a child. He found um, a frog with a toad hanging onto it and Seth thought they were mating. And so he makes a joke about how he might have a half frog, half toad army. And then this year, he said that he's found the same thing, but was told that that's not possible and that they will not spawn from canoodling. I think this is a teenager. I think this is like a, a teenager. At least last year. Here's what I think actually happened. I think he got a fuckload of tadpole eggs. Okay. Frog eggs. And maybe a fourth, if not a sixth, an eighth of them actually transformed into tadpoles and then maybe became frogs. I don't know. But I think far less of them transformed into frogs than he would have you believe. Transformed, grew into frogs. You, you get my point. Then in order to keep up the appearances of, oh my gosh, look how many frogs there are. Look how many tadpoles there are. We have a frog army on our hands. He would splice stock footage and random internet footage of frogs in with his footage that he took of his pond to make it look like it was way more tadpoles than was actually true. This is him claiming he added a stone and that the tadpoles slash frog let all tried to get out. The thing is my Karen neighbor has a fear of frogs and there is a hand, but they're wearing a bracelet and I think that's nail polish on their hand. Yeah, they got a longer sleeve, but I'm sure she won't mind. What am I going to do with my 1.4 million frogs? So this one looks like his pond here. You can see the rocks in the back. The main reason people think this is fake is because at least one of these clips that he shows is in fact from Big Mac Daddy. everywhere. This account could be fake, but it's 13,000 followers. This is the only video on his account. Bro, where the fuck did all of these come from? And it's showing a bunch of little frogs everywhere. OMG, the guy that saved 1 million frogs. I hope you're the neighbor of that person who raised 1 million frogs and the prophecy has been fulfilled. I don't think it's the same area because this guy is in the US, it looks like. Like I said, we were gonna talk about the garden center again. Now that garden center, I'm fairly certain is in the UK based on the license plates on the car that we see. I can't find his TikTok where he showed the parking lot, but I looked up the actual store and this is in fact a store in the UK. So yeah, my understanding is that Thin Frog lives in the UK. Do I think this is eco-terrorism? Breeding frogs, saving them with the express purpose of creating a frog army. What else are you gonna use a frog army for if not to create havoc? So, I mean, in that regards, probably you're creating terror with little frogs, so kind of, but also, I mean, the cycle of nature, the way that nature works, there are plenty of animals and beings that just kind of don't survive once they are hatched. And I believe that that's why frogs lay so many eggs is because evolutionarily they understand or know at least that a bunch of them are not gonna make it. You're also taking them from their natural ecosystem where if they had survived in that natural ecosystem, then normal predators would, you know, the food chain and all of that would have handled it and kept the population where it's supposed to be Whereas, you know, now you've brought them into a potentially suburban era area or just um, a residential area at the very least. And there's just not the same amount of their natural predators in that area. Super thinly connected, but I think this is another way that we saw during the pandemic, how when lockdowns happened and tourism basically came to a standstill around the world, how much tourism had affected natural animal life around the world in different climates, cities, cultures, where uh, like, I believe, where was the country that monkeys who were used to tourists feeding them we're not having tourists feeding them anymore. So they were like attacking locals and children because they weren't getting fed and they were like going and stealing food from the locals because the tourists weren't feeding them anymore. You know, it's like when you add in a new variable and then the vegans get used to that variable and then you yoink that variable, obviously there's issues. I think this is fake because there's just not enough ecological fallout, I think, from these tadpoles being placed this many tadpoles. Like I said, last year is when we found that one of the footage was fake. This person apparently did a presentation on frogs. I can't, there, this person that shared this video is not the original video. Like my neighbor has to leave, there's too many frogs, um, but there's a part of the video that I recognize. So there's this part where like all the frogs are like jumping through this little green area. And I was like, I've seen this before. It's from this video, Millions of Little Frogs by GMikeG123 on YouTube. You can look it up. It's there. But here's some screenshots. So the top screenshot is from the YouTube video, um, the GMikeG. And then this bottom screenshot is from the Frog Army video. That's the same picture.
So you can see there's like that little like, oh, where's my little like hay thing in both. Like it matches up. It matches up perfectly. He just took that video from YouTube. Yeah, there's a ton of tadpoles in that water too. He could have been using that footage from the tadpoles. What happened to the frog army on TikTok? The accounts only posted once in the last month claiming all the frogs are gone. Did the frogs all die or was this all fake from the beginning? This year's video and everything's starting all over again. Between all of the inconsistencies, the issues with the footage, that clip arguably being proven fake on uh, Thin Frog's part, and then obviously the neighbor not being his actual neighbor, just a completely different person in a completely different country, it looks like. I think definitively we can say at least most of last year it was fake. Do I think he probably still had like 5,000 to 10,000 frogs hatched, maybe? Yeah. The fact that it's now been a couple of months and he's starting all over and there's no remaining frogs, no other uh, seemingly effects of the frogs. I don't know, I'm just calling shenanigans. Last year, as well, there was this guy, Froggy Biologist. He had a lot of feelings about Thin Frog and his frog army. So this guy thinks he's building a frog army. So right there, you already messed up by just going out there and randomly collecting frogs. You don't know if they're invasive species that you're trying to raise and build an army out of, which again, is also kind of a big ego trip. This could also be a protected species that needs special permits to handle because they're rare and endangered. You could be messing things up. There's a whole host of issues with having that many potential frogs in your backyard. In a pool, you could have a rampant disease problem. You have other issues with cleanliness and you don't know what frogs these are or what conditions they need to live. There's a reason we have biologists and agencies handle these things in order to protect the species the way they're supposed to be protected so we don't add more danger to the environment. He's talking about how you don't know what type of frogs these are. You don't know if they're a protected species. You don't know if there is disease. Again, he did take them from, in his own words, a polluted water source. You don't know if there's disease. You could have a disease outbreak. Bringing that into a populace where there's humans, animals, dogs, cats, what have you, could lead to a whole host of issues. In the comment section, froggy biologist also shared, I'm not sure his frogs are invasive, but it appears that random fish and salamanders to hatch. So he doesn't know what he is raising. Do I think any of this is real? Not particularly. If you are someone who I believe, again, this is in the UK, don't dox this person if you do know who the frog person is, okay? Don't do that. But do you think any of this is real? Did you go to school with someone who was like, you guys, I built, I have a frog army. I feel like I've known quite a few people who if they had a frog army, they would tell you they had a frog army. Here is the latest video from Thin Frog. This was posted about two days before this video goes live. Fairly certain that Thin Frog is reusing footage from the last Frog Army saga because some of these clips look so familiar and it looks like they're just kind of flipped around or cropped or something, I don't know. A few other creators on TikTok that I wanted to highlight while I'm here, um, Eel Pit Guy. Eel Pit Guy, he goes by Cow Turtle, he's got 1.2 million followers. He apparently bought a house that had like a fruit cellar or a septic tank or something down below that's like almost completely enclosed that was like filled with water. And so he decided to uh, clean up the water and uh, add cinder blocks to make like a little island and basically made this a whole ecosystem under his house. And he has an eel pit. He added eels, he added fish, he added carp, he added uh, just in insane carp. I don't think carp's what he added, but he added fish, okay? He has a whole little eel pit. He literally went snorkeling in the eel pit the other day. Just snorkeling in the eel pit with the eels and the fish. Oh, he's got a catfish in there. Okay, sorry, I said carp, that's not a carp. It's fairly deep now. That's at least two, three feet deep of water. He names all the eels. Um, I highly recommend following cow turtle, they're fun. Then we also have this guy who scares the living hell out of me. So this is Fishing Garrett. He has 4.5 million followers. He does not feel God, animal, man, Man, not, none of it. Um, he just goes walking around the Everglades, the Florida Everglades, and he's just then showing like, oh yeah, hey, by the way, look at this giant crocodile to his left. Gotta look out for those. And then picks up a snake, lets a non-venomous snake bite him, puts it down and then keeps going. You're terrifying. Like, I feel like being in your presence would just give me an aneurysm. Here's him shuffling his feet in the Florida Everglades. And then there's just a crocodile up ahead of him, three feet in front of him. I'm very glad you just seem very curious and like, you're just like, this is cool. Like very casual because I do think you have the potential to be a super villain if you wanted to, since you don't seem to have any problem <laughs> being this close to danger. You're an Animal Planet episode waiting to happen and not the good kind. <laughs> Anyways, that's going to be it. Um, what do you think about the frog army? Do you think the frog army is real? Do you think that everyone involved is overreacting, talking about the ecological disaster that this has or could cause um, again or last year, if it was real, if any of it was real? Do you think that the footage is all real and that he's not manipulating the footage whatsoever and that this is that many tadpoles? If you truly think this is real, where are all the frogs from last year, if that's the case? What do you think happened to all of them between when he stopped posting and when he started posting 
the new series again this year. Let me know. Comment down below. Reminder, I have a podcast, this Welsh Hands podcast reminder. I have merch. Probably just a, a shirt that just says, that's too many frogs is going to be the shirt for this video. Shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my Patreon. If you'd also explore my Patreon, let me listen down below. Like to follow me on social media. That'll be all up here. I whacked the microphone. And that's going to be a lovely day. Goodbye. I don't know. I still think this could be a teenager because of the fact that they didn't realize that toads and frogs couldn't procreate, you know, and other, among other things. Thank you. Andrew Allen, Awful, BJ, Cameron, Christopher, Chris, Crispy, Crispy, Crash, China, Dirty One, Don, Elliot, Donnie, Evan, Eric, Eyal, Hopeless, Homer, Incognito, Isaiah, Joe, John M, Jordan, Joseph, Kenny, Justin, Kim, Kristen, Lamb, Lexley, Louise, Mae West, Madeline, Matt, Matthew, Meme Lord, Michael, Michael J, Michael T, Micah, Nathaniel, Pat, Penn, Philip, Richard, Rob, Rosie, Red, Robert, Ross, Ryan, Sam, Serena, Skylar, Simon, Tosh, Timothy, Heavenly, Plastic, Tyler, Tenzin, Tom, Thomas, Querty, Wichter, Wendy, Will, William, Zendry's Wink.